Hi and welcome to another edition of the Everlast Power video series. In this edition, we will continue our look at the 2015 version of the PowerTig 255 EXT. In this video, we will cover the items included in the courtesy package and the basics of setting the welder up. The unit includes most everything required to TIG weld out of the box except for tungsten and shielding gas. Each unit includes two TIG torches with remote switches for 2T and 4T operation. The package also includes one stick electrode holder with cable and connector, a work clamp with cable and connector, a new style regulator, a 240 volt to 120 volt adapter and Everlast new deluxe foot pedal. Now let's take a closer look at each item. The first torch in the package is the standard air-cooled 9 series TIG torch. It's good for operating up to 125 amps at 60% duty cycle. Now the torch can be operated higher amperages, but you will experience a reduced duty cycle. The next torch is the water-cooled 20 series. This torch features the new flexible TIG cables that are easy to bend and rotate around. It also comes with the new DIN style connector which is an exclusive design from Everlast and featured on all higher end torches. This torch features a duty cycle rating of 250 amps at 60% duty cycle which matches the welder's maximum output perfectly. You'll notice that both torches come with a protective denim cover. The new heavy duty tong style electrode holder includes a 10 foot long cable and is a major improvement over previous styles we have offered. The 255 EXT also features a heavy duty bronze work clamp with a 10 foot cable and connector. This type work clamp is truly a professional design and is noted for strong grip and excellent ability to conduct electricity. The regulator is billet brass construction and features a floating ball design. The floating ball design is the professional's choice and go-to regulator for trouble-free service. Since the 2015 model features dual voltage output, the unit includes a heavy duty adapter. This adapts the 240 volt NEMA 650 plug down to the 120 volt 515 plug for convenient 120 volt operation. The unit will automatically sense the step down in power and operate on it. No tools or rewiring is required. Of course, factory installed cord and wire are included. Finally, the unit features the new style foot pedal developed last year. This new foot pedal has proven to be reliable and a better design over previous models. The foot pedal for 2015 will include a slip resistant tread for improved feel and operation. Let's take a look how to set the unit up to get it ready to weld. If you are operating on 120 volt, you will first need to install the 120 volt adapter. Simply mate the 240 volt plug and receptacle firmly together. No further action is needed except to plug the unit into a suitable 120 volt receptacle. To install the regulator, remove the safety cap from the cylinder. Then stand away from the port on the valve and crack the valve open briefly to blow out any dirt or trash that may be in the valve seat. Then inspect it to make sure that all debris has been removed. Next install the regulator onto the cylinder. Use your finger to start the process to prevent cross threading. Then finish tightening the regulator with a wrench until it is snug. Tighten the regulator hose fitting as well so that it will not leak. The new 2015 PowerTig 255 EXT is equipped with a 5A CGA fitting for shielding gas connection. This fitting has replaced the older barb style fitting. The 5A CGA fitting is the standard fitting in the US and North America. Simply screw the regulator line into the fitting and tighten it with the wrench. Do not over tighten the fitting. The 9 series air cooled torch has a gas line, a DIN 35 style power connector and a 7 pin torch switch control connector. To install the torch connect the power connector to the negative port on the left side. The TIG torch will always be installed at this point even in AC mode. Then install the gas line simply by pushing it in until it locks and if needed install the torch switch control. 
If the torch switch control is not used, then the foot pedal must be connected to this point. The work clamp is connected to the positive terminal on the right side for TIG. To install the 20 series water cooled torch, you must identify the water supply line, the water return line, and the gas line. Note that on other brands of torches, the color coding may change. The water return line will always exit the DIN style connector. The water supply line will be the other black tube, and the gas connector will be the blue line. To verify the lines are correctly identified, Lightly blow compressed air through the lines to make sure the gas is coming out the torch head. Connect the torch power cable and the gas line just as you would with the air cooled torch. Now connect the torch water return line to the red coupling marked input on the cooler. Connect the water supply line to the blue coupling marked output. Finally, connect the dual voltage cooler to the rear of the unit at the receptacle. Although the cooler has its own switch, the power to the cooler is switched on and off by the main switch on the welder. Join us next time when we cover the main controls and functions of the 2015 version of the PowerTeak 255 EXT. As always, if you have questions about this welder or any question about one of our products, give us a call at the number listed below.